This is a video update to look at the status of shipping and manufacturing for all helium hotspot mining vendors. This will include Nebra, Bobcat, Synchrobit, Long AP, and Calchip Connect. We will look at what is actually happening with all these manufacturers, if there is any news, and whether or not any new batches are expected to be released. Hi everyone, Crypto Lehman here. Thanks very much for tuning in for another video. This is an update across the board for all the HIP19 approved vendors and manufacturers of helium hotspot miners. Before I get into this video, there is a usual disclaimer. So please make sure that you're aware of all the scammers in the comment section pretending to be me. As always, please remember that I will never give you a WhatsApp number or tell you to contact anyone because they can earn you a ton of money by Bitcoin or by investing in a venture. They're likely to be a scam. If you need to get in touch with me directly, if you have a question or a suggestion, those are always welcome. Please make sure that you email me and my email address can be found in the description of every video. Now, without further ado, we'll jump straight into this video update. We'll first of all look at Nebra. Nebra have already shipped their first batch, as we know but we will now look at whether or not there is any further developments on their blog the latest blog post is still dated the 26th of may 2021 so there hasn't been any updates in relation to that nebra still aren't accepting any pre-orders for new products because they are still struggling to ship the first ones out they have not announced when the second batch will be shipped they have given us provisional dates there has been a lot of discussion on the Discord channel where people are not happy with the provisional dates, but this seems to be a thing across the board with all helium manufacturers. Apparently, there are still chip shortages and the vendors are struggling to source the basic components to put these units together. That is apparently what's causing a delay. So let's uh, look at the Helium Discord channel, and the Discord channel can be found on the Helium Discord server. If you want to get an invitation to join the Helium server, I will place a link in the description of this video. So you can simply click on that and join the server. In terms of pins, they are still working on updating the software. There have been some issues. Some people were complaining today that the units that have arrived in the first batch have not been manufactured up to standard because there are some loose bits and they have been found with scratches on them. Unfortunately, exchanging the products is not a viable option at the moment because, as we all know, it is extremely difficult to get a unit in the first place, let alone sending one back because it's got scratches on it and then getting a replacement. As long as the unit works, I think we can live with the fact that it's slightly scratched up. Steve is IT, is a very active user. Shout out to him. He has kindly posted a minor shipping updates uh, post here. This is the one that I looked at in my previous video as well. They are saying that the indoors, the first batch has been shipped, as we know, as of the 17th of May. Outdoor is shipping in June. Batch number two. Now, if you notice, previously on a previous video, this was saying that it is to be confirmed and that the blog will be posted with further details. Now, in this particular instance, they have said that this the second batch will be shipping in June. Unfortunately, they haven't specified as to when exactly in June. Batch 3 for the indoors will also be shipping in June. And then batch 4 hopefully will ship in July. Even though Nebra have greatly improved when it comes to providing more updates, leaving a whole month as a shipping estimate, I think it's not a, really an option and it should be more precise. They should be aware of when they are able to ship these things. I think people have been waiting for long enough now and people deserve to know exactly what is going on. I'm not sure why this batch is not shipping yet. I would like to know what the delay is. Unfortunately, there is no update on that as we, as we speak. If there is a development, I will of course bring that to you. So make sure that you hit that bell icon and you have all notifications turned on 
So whenever I post a new video update, it gets straight to you without any delays. Now, in relation to Bobcat, they, as usual, have been very good in terms of shipping a batch a week, approximately. A lot of people have been posting their Bobcat pictures. Now, I have previously discussed this as well. I think there are two main reasons behind Bobcat being able to deliver. First of all, they are backed by a major company who is a major manufacturer and has been manufacturing items such as the Xbox in the past. They have the infrastructure, they have the capability and the manpower, and also, as it would appear, they have the supply line secured. This is the most recent post on Twitter, which was only posted about 20 hours ago. Batch number five has been shipped and that the tracking details will be sent to customers on next Monday. Now they are preparing for batch six to be announced. It would appear that there is a method to how things are being done at Bobcat. Every Friday there is an announcement for for the next batch. On the following Monday, they ship the batch out from the factory and then it takes approximately seven days for that batch to arrive with the logistics company, be it DHL or UPS, where it's received and logged. And once that process is done, the following Monday, tracking numbers for those deliveries are sent out to customers. In other words, from a batch being announced to be ready for shipping to customers getting their tracking details for this item, there is a gap or space of approximately 10 days. That's how Bobcat have been operating and they have been announcing batches pretty continuously and consistently. Now, there is one more thing that I need you to be aware of. And that is the fact that you may have to pay a customs fee when your order arrives. Depending on where you are based, it may happen that the customs authorities will contact you and or send you an invoice to let you know that they are in possession of your package and that there is a customs fee owed to them. So once you've paid that customs fee, they release that particular item and it arrives with you at your home address. In other situations, it has been known that the item will arrive at your home destination first and it will be followed generally by a customs invoice asking you to pay the customs fee. So that can happen either way. One thing that you need to be aware of, when we actually purchase the unit, we pay the shipping cost as well as the value added tax or VAT or sales tax, as some people may know it as. If after receiving the unit, you are required to pay VAT locally again in your country, then you can go onto the Bobcat's Discord channel or you can ask me and I can forward you the link and you can fill out a form to reclaim the initial VAT that you paid. We will now move on to Syncrobit. Now, Syncrobit keep posting wonderful photos of these devices and they are brilliant. However, the community is extremely unhappy as to what's going on. The FCC process is still outstanding. And according to the latest update, the FCC could take the month of June to complete. In my last update, and I mentioned that they were shipping another 1,000 EU units because they have the appropriate certification for the EU units. But there is still FCC certification outstanding for the North American and SP North America units. The next EU shipment is going to be going out from the factory fairly soon as well. So stay tuned for that. But again, that is for European shipments and the American customers are still waiting and hoping the best. That is it in terms of Syncrobit. We'll now look at Long AP. I've covered that in my last video. Long AP are now onboarding these devices. They are getting ready to open the sales and they will give everyone a fair chance and announce the exact time and date when these orders will be opened. So once that happens and there is some development on that end, I will bring that to you straight away so we don't miss out on buying this device. Unfortunately, there is a limited number of countries that this item is being shipped to. They're not going to deliver to 
customers in America at this moment in time. I don't know what the reason for that is, but that is just how it is. That list can be found on the Discord channel. As you can see, the North Americas is not part of it. The rest of the world is not part of it. It appears to be the mainland Europe and surrounding areas. If you want to get hold of that list, or if you're not sure, please drop me a line and I will be more than happy to share that with you so that you have access to it. So now we'll quickly look at Calchip and the Rack Hotspot Miner. Um, they First of all, they have stopped taking the limited number of orders on a daily basis that they were doing initially. As we know, they were taking 250 orders a day. Now they're saying that they're really struggling with the supply lines, uh, with sourcing the components. So they will no longer be taking any orders until further notice. Additionally, they have just released an update. They have heard people complaining about batch animals not being allocated to order numbers etc so they have updated their shipping calculator with the relevant estimated shipping times for batch orders i will just quickly go through that with you so obviously we had animals announced up until quail and raccoon which are covered in the last update now they have come forward and released some provisional details for squirrel turtle and unicorn they're saying that they estimate that these should ship around september 2021 uh, then we have velociraptor walrus and denops and these batches are estimated to ship around october and then you have the yak and zebra batches which should ship by november so hopefully by the end of this year these orders will all be shipped so if you haven't yet got an allocated animal for your batch go to the calculator i'll put a link in the description of the video anyway that's it thank you very much for tuning in and checking out this update look after yourselves and i will speak to you soon